Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In case you've never been here before, go ahead and like and subscribe. But basically, this is where I go to talk about my pets, my friends, and whatnot. Probably are tired of hearing me talk about my pets. So this is just an extra outlet for me to where whenever my friends are like, this is a lot, Heather, this is a lot. I'm just like, okay, fine. So I recently picked up a couple of rats. Um, it's definitely not a pet that Everyone thinks as cute as I think, so I'm going to come here and talk about them to where you can choose to watch it or you can leave it. But yeah, I'm also going to talk about the things I got them today. I have two pretty big hauls because I like to spoil new pets and I like to stock up on their stuff just to kind of get an idea of what they really do need, what they don't need, what they do like, what they don't like, what their preferences are, because every animal has their own preference. So right here behind me it's a temporary enclosure i'm aware that rats need something larger more climbing but right now my daughter and i are really trying to bond with them so we're sticking with a smaller enclosure to where we can take them out we can play with them you know we can kind of um this is actually the playroom or my daughter's playroom so we can kind of block off the doors to where my cats can't come in and irritate them while we're trying to bond with them. But it's a large enough room to where we can get them out and exercise them and play with them really well. Rats are nocturnal, so we usually do this like right before bedtime. Um, occasionally we'll play with them a little bit during the day, but we really try to isolate it to the evening times right at bedtime. Uh, right now it's actually later in the evening. It is close to 9 o'clock at night. So they're kind of out. You hear one of them chewing on a chew back there that he just got today. Um, but yeah, so basically I got two female rats. You never want to get just one. They are incredibly social animals. So you need to make sure that you're getting two and then you need to make sure that you're spending the time with them to have them bond with you. We got a, you know, like a dark gray and white one. My daughter named him Oreo, black and white. And then we got a blonde and white one, which I named Sookie. So right back here is like, I guess our first little Petco haul of supplies. It is, like I said, it's a 20 gallon long. There's one of those bendy bridges that I used as a hide. I wasn't really a fan of any of the hides that they had at the pet stores today. I'm going to keep looking for more hides. God, you guys, I'm so sorry about this glare, but it is an aquarium, so it is what it is. Um, if you guys hear that noise, that's my cat scratching at the door to get into bed with my daughter, so hang on one second. Okay, so um, the Bendy Bridge. I have another one that's in the package still above that, right there hanging down. That is a Himalayan salt, you know, let's start off the, well, I'll have to take it out. Let's start it off with positive energy. <laughs> There's a couple toys, some chews. Oreo's back there chewing on a chew that he or she is a huge fan of. You know, the little water bottle. There's these locks. There's some locks on the cage to keep the lid down. Because one thing I don't need are rats escaping. Pretty sure not only my cats would have a fit, but my dog would probably not be nice to it. Um, he's just such a young little puppy who's hyper and loves everything and everyone, but he would probably play too rough for the rats. Okay, so that all I got at Petco. Dollar per gallon sale going on right now until April 25th, 2018. I love the dollar per gallon sales. They make me so happy. Um, this is Onyx. I will be doing a video on Onyx. He's my boy. Okay, so back to the stuff I got. This is that Bendy Bridge. This is already a bonded pair of rats. I already knew that they were bonded when I got them. I specifically um, looked them over, paid attention to their behavior with each other. You know, I did the works whenever I got them, whenever I chose them. I made sure that they were good couple to go. Rats are incredibly social. So they really, really need that. They need their partner. They need a companion. Um, so I only put one of the Bendy Bridge hides in there for right now. I will put this other one in tonight probably. Uh, but I knew that they would do well. Do you guys see her digging? Oh my God, it's so 
stinking cute but I knew that they would do well together. So I am gonna give them another option to go solo if they need to, or you know, they can only use one hide. These are like multi-purpose. They can also chew on them. I guess they're made for guinea pigs. There's a guinea pig on there, but I'm gonna use them for my wraps. Um, super cool. I also got the KD Clean and Cozy, the birthday cake coloring of bedding a little bit of this goes a long way so this was kind of an expensive package of bedding but I've seen so many people talk about how awesome it is and I do have a lot of pets so one thing I'm always worried about is like odor control in my home everyone who comes over says yeah you can tell you have pets but you keep the smell really really or you keep it really clean so you don't notice it that is what I want people to always say to me is yeah you have pets but nobody notices it after a few minutes. That is exactly what you have to tell me if you ever come to my house. But anyways, so this is just what I found based off of reviews, not off of personal experience, because this is my first like nesting mammal in this house, um, to have the best odor control. So it's what I got. Plus it's bright, colorful, fun, not scented, and safe for the animals. It's basically just um, shredded paper, I believe. And it absorbs more than wood shavings. Wood shavings are significantly cheaper. However, you want to make sure that you're using wood that is safe for them. I also picked up this same brand, the Katie brand of um, food. I will probably end up, just knowing me, I'm probably going to end up putting together their own food myself. I just need to research more on their diets and things. Most of my animals, I prep their food myself with like fresh ingredients and the least amount of packaged food as possible. Now, obviously my cats and my dogs are going to eat packaged food and, you know, things like that, but even they get extra bonuses. Like my dog gets his fresh veggies added to it and raw egg added to it. So, you know, there's things that you can do. Anyways, another video, another day. I also picked up these real fruit flavor oven baked treats for, it says rabbits, guinea pigs, rats, and hamsters. But this is cranberry orange flavor. They're basically cookies. I do have quite a bit of treats here um, between the two stores. And that's just because I'm trying to figure out what they want more and we're still trying to bond with them. So they'll get more treats at this point in their life than they will in general. Um, for the bonding process. Of course, they'll still get them, but they won't be getting them as frequently. So I got these little emoji wood chews were super cute. And since this is in my daughter's playroom, I can put corny stuff like this in there. So I don't have a theme going just yet. We're just seeing what they like. So these are just wood chews. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing. So they have to always have things to chew on um, in order to maintain proper dental health and you know, to not like, I don't know. It's just good for it, right? To maintain proper dinner health. I said that right. Dental health. These little, by the you and me at Petco, little colored pencils or pencil wood shoes that were super cute. This is another one of the little you and me. My daughter picked this one out. It's like a little activity toy. We don't want them getting bored. We want them to stay having fun and active. These are some little mineral ice pops. So they're tasty treat and teeth trimming toy. They look like little popsicle sticks. And then these look like little candies. So that's everything from Petco. I did get the majority of the things from Petco. So, you know, all of those little chews and toys, the food, the bedding, the enclosure, all that stuff came from Petco, the water jug. Um, and yeah, so this is gonna be the PetSmart haul. I almost wish I had gone to PetSmart first, to be honest, because I could have picked an actual like chew theme and stuck with it. He Eventually the girls are gonna look like they have little, oh, they're both moving around. They're going to look like they have like a little fast food stand in there. You know, I might even try and make them like a little uh, taco truck or something. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Sometimes I get crazy with my ideas. They always end up working. Um, so 
These are like some little yogurt treats. They have these buy one, get one 50% off. So these were little yogurt treats. You can tell we've been playing with them. This is from PetSmart now, by the way. What are you girls doing? Oh, I think they're playing. They're like doing this thing called like popcorning or they're hopping around. These are some chews. They're just full with like some paper. These are more chews. They were just cute and little flowers. These are twist lollipop chews. I thought about doing like a candy shop theme, like a sweets theme. Ice cream cone chews. This is a mineral ice cream cone shaped treat. And a hamburger and fries. They also had like pizzas and stuff like that, but my daughter was like, no, we're gonna do these. And then we have the little apple slice treats as well. They also had some sweet potato slices, and I don't know why I didn't grab them, because I totally thought I did, but I, I guess I didn't. So that is all of the hauls. I think the girls are definitely set. Let me kick the cats out and stick some blankets under the door, and you can meet the girls. Just to kind of show you a couple of the other things that are in their enclosures, there's this little fun toy that's in there from Petco. And then these twos, they've really had a lot of fun with. This is what it looked like, and this is what it looks like in just one day for that one. So they've had a lot of fun with those. And then let me see which one is more accepting of me right now. So there's Oreo and Sookie. Oreo's the black and white one my daughter named. Sookie's the blonde and white one. They both definitely have their own personalities. That has been obvious so far. And they're really cute. Sookie is more of a little bit of a panic. Oreo is a little bit more chill. So we'll see which one we can do. I'm working with Sookie. My daughter's been working with Oreo. So maybe, maybe Sookie will come to me. Who knows? Hey, buddies. I'm also, most of my pets, if you know, are male. So... These poor girls are going to be called he's a whole awful lot. Hey, bud. Come here. Hey, sweet thing. So he also tends to pee and poop on me. She's a little uncomfortable. She's backing up. But look at how beautiful she is. They're very young, so they're not very grown yet. They're still pretty small. You hear her talking? She's a talker, man. I still need to look up like what these sounds that they make mean exactly. And I'm sure she's uncomfortable. Like I said, I've worked with her, but I wouldn't say either of them are 100% comfortable just yet. You want this, honey? You want this? Look at how adorable she is and sweet. She does not want that. She just wants to poop. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's chattering away. Such a curious little rat. She's sweet. Let me put her back and I'll grab Oreo next. So this is Oreo. She has actually done amazingly well so far. Um, this is the one that is so, so, so good for my daughter. Like, my daughter named her, and she's been doing amazing. I don't have the lid on there, so I keep looking. You want a little yogurt snack? You want a little yogurt snack? No? Not so much? Look at that sweet little face. I feel like she has a very... They both just have adorable faces, but she has, like, a very animated face. Whereas Suki is a more... Like, Suki makes more noises and is a little bit more shy... Oreo is pretty chill and just wants to explore it all. A little self-grooming. Very nice, very nice. So sweet. You're so sweet. So sweet. See how sweet these guys are? Oh, Y'all are the cutest too. I love their little feet. Um, so Oreo is actually a lot more gentle 
to be held, like a lot more gentle in my hands. Sookie gets a little bit um, more, uh, I don't know, she feels a little bit more aggressive whenever I'm holding her. Oreo is just like, this is cool, I can do this. No big deal, right? No big deal, right? But those are my new rats. That's everybody. We're happy I didn't get peed on just now, so that's exciting, that's cool. Sookie and Oreo say thanks for watching and there will be plenty more in the future. So thank you guys, have a great night.